With us here to give us the definitive word is Lieutenant Brian Sims of Forest Park. Uh, tell us what you can about uh, what looks to be an improving situation. Yeah, we believe we've got the fire contained at this point. Uh, we were finally able to get crews in with foam lines, dumped a lot of foam on the inside and were able to get it contained. We do have crews back inside on the interior, so uh, and just judging by the smoke and everything else, uh, we just need to clear the rest of the smoke out and get inside, just make sure all the hot spots are taken care of. Fire crews had their hands full battling a wall of fire at times. The hose actually gets away. You can see the ice and cold took its toll out here. Meanwhile, you can actually see the fire burning on the water, evidence that that oil created major problems here. Firefighters had been working to ventilate the building, cutting holes with power saws, but the smoke got so thick at times, they couldn't even see six inches in front of them. Uh, now, there have been some questions about whether or not there was a sprinkler system inside. We caught up with one of the business owners in passing. The fire started in a milling machine in the middle of the plant, where they were simply milling a, a piece of metal this morning, and some oil that's used in the process caught fire and it spread. Good news is no one was hurt, but obviously this is a tremendous loss for this Forest Park business. By 12.15, the fire was under control and out. Two hours ago, most of the fire crews were allowed to leave. Forest Park crews are still around mopping up. Right now we're just removing the rest of the smoke and we've got crews inside on the interior with some, some hand lines and trying to hit all the hot spots at this point. Now Lieutenant Sims t tells us it looks like all of Faxon's machinery in the damaged building was destroyed. He says the loss is in the millions of dollars and we are told that Faxon made parts in this building for the Department of Defense. An adjacent building where they make parts for car transmissions was not damaged. Reporting live from Forest Park, I'm Joe Webb, Local 12.